Hello all, I'm Dr. Neema Bhatt, hematologist, uh, bone marrow transplant physician and pediatric oncologist. I would like to talk about a, a relevant topic for this season. So this is monsoon season or just a few months or one month after monsoon season has sort of ended, which is when we commonly see dengue. Um, so dengue, as most of us know, is a disease, it's a viral infection that is borne by mosquitoes. So it is transmitted by mosquitoes uh, and it comes from mosquito bite. And as a hematologist, why am I talking about, you know, uh, why am I talking about dengue infection? So a lot of patients with dengue or dengue-like viral hemorrhagic fevers, we call them, have low platelet counts. Um, and uh, it leads to a lot of panic. It leads to a lot of anxiety. And uh, it needs to be sort of addressed. And we need to improve awareness about it. So uh, what is uh, dengue? So as I said, it is a viral infection which is, you know, usually comes from a mosquito bite and uh, it causes inflammation in the entire body. So there's nothing but it causes the entire body to sort of start secreting a few chemicals, uh, which can attack different parts of uh, your blood. It can atta attack different parts of the body. It can cause inflammation in the you know, covering of the lungs, in the covering of the heart, in the stomach. So we call it serositis. So uh, the, the relevance of dengue with low plated counts. So we see a lot of patients um, who have, uh, you know, high grade fevers and uh, either start having a little bit of bleeding in their nose or their gums or notice some blood in their urine or in their stools or just have fevers and the physician has, you know, uh, gotten a test called complete blood count. And on that we notice low plated counts. So can anybody with dengue have low plated counts? Yes and no. So it is all patients with dengue do not have to have low plated counts, but um, a lot of patients with dengue can have low plated counts. It doesn't depend on the age. It doesn't depend on if they have any other you know, diseases, unless if they're on some medications to reduce the plated count uh, or some medicines that can cause reduction of plated count, it can happen in anybody. Um, again, the age range, it can vary from uh, children who are you know, very young until people who are elderly, um, even above the age of 60, 70, children even under the age of 10 years. If they have severe dengue infection, then they can have low plated counts. What do we do to find out if a patient has dengue infection? So when we see a patient present with fevers, um, recurrent fevers with body pains, headaches and um, joint pains, we get a test called uh, dengue IgG, IgM and NS1. So usually patients who have acute dengue infection, which is active infection, will have NS1 positive and IgM positive, but IgG may be either positive or negative. And then we get complete blood counts where we see low plated count. Mm -hmm. So as part of the inflammation, the plated counts drop in dengue patients and that itself can cause bleeding. Plated counts can drop anywhere between just around 50,000, 40,000, sometimes to even very low counts as in less than 10,000. And as I said, they can cause sometimes life-threatening bleeding. So it's very important for a patient who has plated counts less than 50,000 and who is dengue positive to be admitted and watched in the hospital. Usually plated counts start dropping on the third or fourth day of presentation uh, once the patient starts spiking fevers and if the plated count is less than 50,000 this patient will have to be under close observation or monitoring in a hospital and we'll have to check plated counts sometimes even up to two or three times a day depending on the rate of fall. So if the plated count is dropping rapidly that means we'll have to check it two or three times a day and if it is significantly low so less than 20,000 less than 20, 30,000 as I've explained, can cause life-threatening bleeding. And in these patients, we will have to give them platelets um, sometimes, you know, once a day, sometimes two or even three times a day to try to improve their platelet counts to about 20,000. Sometimes, um, in spite of giving these uh, platelet transfusions, it may not be enough. So it may not um, help in the platelet counts coming up. And by then, if the patient is having some sort of a bleeding issue or if other counts are also dropping, we do put the patients on a low-dose steroids. Um, there is, of course, a conception about treating with papaya extract or papaya leaf extract or sometimes just papaya seeds. So um, this is sort of um, a, a part of medicine that goes along with giving platelets and giving probably low dose steroids so the counts are very low. But I want um, everybody to understand that just giving papaya extract to somebody who has a plated count of say 10,000 or 15,000 and not really monitoring them, not really giving them plated transfusions may actually be life threatening. So papaya extract, although has been shown to be marginally helpful in improving plated production, it is not the only treatment and it, it is not the only thing that can you know, improve plated count. If used as a single agent, uh, it will take a very long time to work and it's not very effective. So it can be used as a supplement along with either steroids or giving plated transfusions. 
but would not advocate to use it as a single agent. There are, of course, um, I get questions from patients. If we eat kiwi fruit, are the platelet counts going to increase? If we eat a lot of papaya, like two, three papayas in a day, is my platelet count going to come up, you know, um, uh, significantly? If we eat chicken or meat or leg soup, will that improve my platelet count significantly? My answer to all of them is yes and no. So if you have mal you are malnourished, so if, if you either have you know iron deficiency or vitamin B12 deficiency, and you consume foods um, that improve these levels, and if you have low plated counts because of these deficiencies, then plated counts will come up. But if your low plated counts is because of some other reason, uh, it's due to a medical reason, or it is because of dengue or this sort of an infection, then just taking papaya or kiwi or some other food is not really going to help your plated counts come up. And this is very important to remember, especially if the plated counts are significantly low, um, that the patient has to be admitted and monitored and also treated accordingly. So usually once the fever stops in about three to five days with the right support of either plated transfusions or steroids, um, plated counts tend to come up. So even as a hematologist, we don't get wor too worried about it if for at least about three or four days after the fever has stopped, Plated counts have not come up because that is a natural course of the disease. The inflammation sort of dies down and the plated counts slowly start to recover. Uh, production is normal usually and just the destruction process will stop and the plated counts tend to recover. Um, in rare occasions where other counts are low, like if the hemoglobin is low or the total count is low, then we may have to do a bone marrow aspiration biopsy just to see if there is some other abnormality in the bone marrow along with the dengue infection that is causing the plated counts to stay low and um, treat it accordingly depending on whatever the reason we find. Other than dengue, there are also other hemorrhagic viral fevers as I said. Uh, we don't know all the viruses that exist currently. Most of the ones we know we test and try to treat for it. But there are some viral infections that even if we test, we don't have the appropriate treatment available for. And in that case, we will just have to support with you know, uh, plated transfusions or appropriate other medications until the inflammation or the infection sort of completely settles down and plated counts improve on their own. If you have any other questions about low plated counts, dengue related low plated counts or other infections, kindly feel free to reach out to me. I'm Dr. Neema Bhatt. Thank you.